in this mod review, we're going to take a look at the Freightliner inspiration for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're in Euro Trucks and we're having a look at the Daimler Freightliner Inspiration. Now this was originally done by Conba and it was in about August last year I believe, uh, around that time and then uh, we had a look at Dimitri's version of this as well and that was for American Trucks and now we've got a newer version of this one so the question is is it going to be any good well let's jump in and have a look shall we so the the uh, customized configuration here we have a look and there is the cabin so there is only one cabin for this just going to drop that down uh, then we go off to the chassis and there's only one chassis for this one so the six by four engines now um, this one, the one we saw by Dimitri had an electric engine, if I remember correctly. Now this one here doesn't, it's just got a whole heap of diesel engines and that, so. Uh, let's see, we've got the, we've got, the goes from 380, we've got the Cummins there. Um, 500, 550, 540, 600, and 690 horsepower, chipped and tuned. So there's, uh, you know, plenty of engines there for you to choose. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check these out. So first of all, we'll start with that one. And we'll come back later and have a look to see if the Cummins has a different engine sound in there. Now off to the transmission here, we have the iShift ATO 3512D. 12 speed. Uh, there's a 14 speed, another 12 speed with a Tata. There's an 18 speed Eaton Fuller. And there's a 14 speed. I'm going to chuck the Eaton Fuller in. I'm most comfortable with that. Now, um, this one here only has... Uh, there's a few things different to Dimitri's version. Now, Dimitri's version had a couple of different interiors that you could choose from. Uh, and it had a digital dash. This one's got a... Um, well, it's sort of digital but it's Dimitri's was like a monitor there and you know that would allow you to you know you could see all these flashing lights and and you know things like that bopping around so it's it is different it is still very different so unfortunately only the one interior uh, I can't turn my head around in this one I don't know why because that's as far as it goes now over to the paint jobs here the problem with that interior there is if you fart on it you'll stain it you know the the white interior and yeah I did say that in the last video as well so but anyway uh, now I have noticed there's a few things there's the template there if you want to make your own you can do so um, there's a black it says paint job but there's a black one there then there's a few of these here which aren't really working as well as what they should be so um, just flipping down see now they're working which is weird they weren't working for me before but they're double up see how there's double ups oh that might have been what I was seeing before the double ups see there Scorpio red I, I don't like that how they do the double ups I mean when you're testing it you got to go through every possible option and but there's whole heaps of colors there guys for you to choose now there's orange see there's double up there or autumn orange cocoa brown shadow grays double up crimson reds a double up poached ivories ivories a double up that's probably what i was seeing before uh custom color there we go and silver white silver gray metallic uh there's metallic colors you've got a two two tone, sort of two metallic ones to choose from there on that one they both work there's the three metallic colors which are always good to test out there's two and there's the third one working there so there we go uh, then we've got a whole heap of look at these 
see they work properly all of these metallic colors and that that's great I love it how they're working properly in the past you know we see it every now and then where they don't work properly and you know it looks shit but uh, there's the second color and then we have the third one there see it's the third one very cool right so color I'm going to go for I like that gold crimson gold actually let's go yeah let's go the gold I like the the grand citron metallic on this truck now uh, to the accessories um, some of these I noticed like that there doesn't work quite right so that that just looks I don't know why they've done that and then on the back there see that's that's weird that's not even a it's not even a, a grill a lower grill guard so why is that fender coming in on there that is weird I, I don't know something's gone wrong not right there so I mean I like that that guard on the back there but I think it's just something's just not right with it but anyway um, now moving right along there is these little lights here which if we turn on there we go you can see them now they're in the grill there see there's all different colors of those which that's pretty cool but that was there before that's been there since the word go I believe and where is it the red there we go that's the one I want then we got a bull bar here which you can add on these little accessories like so but it just doesn't look right without that grill does it so uh, I'm gonna remove that not a big fan of those bull bars on there but um, if you are you can put them on there there you go at least they're bolted on properly by the looks of it it's the main thing oh yeah look at that one there's a big Volvo type one um, then up there is an that's the grill this is the grill to fix that up so for some reason I don't know why but it just doesn't seem to want to put it in there as default for some reason that's not bad I don't mind that one uh, but I want to do it with the red grill today there we go that's the red one so we'll come back to that there's your greens and there's your alien type one but there's the red one there I like that uh, over here we have got light covers so little eyelids for the lights uh, I'm gonna put that on there that looks quite good and then we have the infinity symbol and there it is there within blue it's a shame it's not in red it really is let's see how it illuminates in blue it's a shame it's not in red there never mind uh, on the side there you got bumper guides so you got ones with lights out without lights and there we go so no I don't really think that that's needed on this truck so I'm gonna take that out then we have over here the windows the tinted windows whole heaps of different colors at least they're the same they haven't been changed so that's good um, I'm gonna put it on that one there and then up the back here while we're on windows you can tint them all different colors as well now I like how it's given you the option where you can have the back ones tinted if you don't want to have these you can just take them off and then have the back ones tinted that's a good idea I like that um, one thing that I have noticed here is these mirrors are not quite right see how they're on there they there's a solid and on the back something's happened so in order to fix that you just need to select those but for some reason you can take it out I don't know why I don't know why they would allow that and there's another button for the mirrors but just does that that's all it does um, up the top here we have the light bars so you can go and chuck on some spotlights if you want which yeah that's really cool or you can chuck some horns on the side here and um, still as per I think it's always been like this that horn gets stuck in the top of the the visor, visor thing there so but never mind and then you've got other different light light bars etc etc so I don't like it with the light bar to be honest I think it looks stupid but anyway and then you got beacons on the top put that one on there 
and down to the tires now standard tires on this so I'm gonna put on the Michelin ones and standard rims as well now what should I put on there I think I'm going to go where are they oh okay they're missing right so there's they're missing the other ravens that I like to use are missing oh well um, that is weird that is very weird so I'll put those on there I'll put those raven nuts on there and we'll leave the hubs so you got oh colored hubs that's right this had colored hubs didn't it there we go I'll put those colored hubs on there that looks really cool actually um, moving up to the back here uh, no point really putting these you know tires on there the Michelin tires but I will anyway why not and look there they are there's the raven rims there for some reason they're not showing in the in the other one that that is weird that is weird so and let's go to the hubs and we will go oh it only has the colored hubs on the front it doesn't have it on the back okay and then there's where's the raven center don't know Raven Center's not there. All right, well. Yeah, that's... Okay, well, there you go. That's interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, we'll leave it on white. And we'll go Raven. Do Raven Nuts. And then I'll make that hub there. We'll take that all the way down to the bottom. And there we go right now over to here on the back we have exhausts plenty of exhausts here now these were originally in there and I remember that um, Dimitri made it so with the electric version of this it didn't have the exhaust on there so there you go your hose reel hose racks there um, is that missing a texture there that's bright red on there the little bits there or are they meant to be like that maybe they're meant to be like that color that's okay uh, you well you can't put any lights on there there we go you can't put any lights uh, that is a laptop inside for some reason I don't know but for some reason you can uh, only select it from there that that's weird and there we go there's the side mirror there and that is pretty much it there is your little there's your little bumper guide there um so there we go that is that's the outside now let's check the inside here right um that there we go that's the mirrors which is interesting you got those mirrors there and you got those mirrors there so i'm not sure why you'd have both but anyway it's that's what the mod has done and then you've got the whoops uh, you've got the yeah that's that thing on the front the wind deflector on the front there what's this oh that's your bumper guide that is spots dots on the windshield see so there you go you can go and put that crap on there if you want and then we have here you can go and put dots on there but one thing that I noticed with the dots see how the ladies legs are chopped off it's not sort of I don't know what is going on there that is just weird so it's so weird that don't know what's going on there and um, over there that cups actually molded into the into the uh, the the dash for some reason um there we go up the top here is you can put your curtains and crap on there no i don't know why people insist on putting them in there i don't like it at all but anyway each to their own uh there's a ball you can put on there like a bag and right there you can go and put an esky 
if you want. There you go. Well, that is all the accessories. So now, what's left is to go and test it. Uh, so let's do a trade in and let's see how long it takes to load. Okay. Okay, relatively quick loading there. And seems alright. Looks. Doesn't look too bad. Um. Just trying to see if I can. I can't see anything that's wrong with it or. You know, any major issues that I can see. Still looks nice. Yeah, there we go. Alright, well, let's jump on the outside and start her up and see what it sounds like. That's a little bit loud. But there we go. Now let's test the lights. Alright, there's the lights. Lights are on. Um, high beams. Flashes. Flashes are on. There's the brakes. And reverse. Oh, that's right. There's reverse. Yep. So, uh, SCS are fixing up these lights in coming update, which is going to be good. Um, horn. And air horn. No air horn. We didn't attach one. Uh, now let's, change, let's check the wipers. Now the wipers on this one were very futuristic, but they're not working at the moment on here. Let's go on the inside. Yeah, they're working on the inside, but they're not working on the outside. Whoa, that is noisy. That is actually really noisy on the inside. Normally it's not this noisy. I will see if I can actually change the sound. Let's, uh... Oh, I'll just manually do it. It's alright for now. Okay, so now let's go to a service center and we'll... Uh, oops, wrong button. There we go. Wipers are going crazy. Everything's going crazy. There we go. I want that off. Turn that off. There we go. One, four, okay, five, seven, ten, thirteen, sixteen. That is a weird configuration there. Huh. Very, very strange. It must be just how I've set my gearbox up. You know, you can normally tell straight away when you're driving a truck in this game whether it's good, bad, in between, or what. Um, let's try a banana break. That's the banana break. There is none. Right. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, how do I be nice about this? You know what? Sometimes you just can't sugarcoat it, really. Look, this is, originally, um, this was a very, very good mod. Dimitri made it better. I have to admit, his version was better. Um, this is something wrong here. Um, I, I don't know. I just, I don't like this. Uh, it is personal choice. Uh, some of you may like this and may think that this is really good. Um, and... But it's something I don't know. You can you can tell just just by driving it. Like now, I've only. I mean, it steers fine, but just there's just something that's just not right with it, and I can't figure it out what it is. It's very noisy, very noisy indeed. Uh, now let's go over to check out the other engines here. Man, the steering is very hard to turn. By the way. I don't know why I need all these mirrors. Why do I need all these mirrors here? 
Don't know. All right, let's let's check the the engines. I bet you this engine's going to be quiet now. So we'll go to the Cummins and jump on the outside. Start her up. Oh, did you hear that? Watch, listen to this. See how the audio dips out and then comes back? That's weird. Why does it do that? And it does it too when it's coming back down. Wow. Okay. That's weird. That is very, very weird. Uh, let's go back to the upgrade shop again and check out what other engines the D13, D, 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 Cummins. Uh, I'm going to try that one just to see. I think it's going to be the same as the other one. All right. Yeah, it is. Um... Well, there we go. So there's your two engine sounds there. That mirror was glitching just then. But, guys, it's not up to me. I'm just telling you what I see at this moment. Um, ultimately, it is up to you. If you would like to see this in the weekly drive, then you know what to, to do, guys. Then you need to punch that like button in the ass. Um... And that just that not only tells me that uh, you like this truck and you want to see more, but it also uh, tells me other information as well. So, look, guys. Um, yeah, look, I'm not a big fan of this, to be honest. I'm not not a big fan of this at all. Uh, it very feels very clunky to me. So. Um, yeah, I think maybe uh, an, another go at this may be in, you know, a good idea for the modder. But, uh, yeah, make sure you have your vote, guys, because it's really important. But uh, if this is the first time you've seen Junior Senior Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the Junior Senior Gaming channel and check it out. There's over 1,900 videos there for you to watch and plenty to keep you amused. Uh, there's, uh, we mostly specialize around the vehicle simulation, so if you love your vehicles, your trucks, then you're going to love it there. Um, but that is it for me, guys. Don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down, and I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on.